From that to this, let's take a live look right now at 1215 on your Friday afternoon, Monument Circle. A lot of busy bees down there. Yeah, a lot of uh, our, our busy bees. Yeah, they're yeah. out there working their booties off. And it's a little chilly out there. It is chilly. I was cold out there mm -hmm. waiting in line with the Black Friday shoppers. But um, any chance of a warm-up at all? Not going to see much of a warm-up, but we are still keeping our fingers crossed that it'll be dry. So okay. that's really the big thing. We expect the cold weather. It's Absolutely. the end of November. Believe it or not, November, December 1st is on Sunday. I can't believe it's it, crazy. Kelly. Well, we have overcast skies really all across central Indiana. Noblesville High School, there you can see that look there with the very low cloud deck. And then we head to Sharpsville, much of the same. So the gloomy skies, yes, they're in place for the rest of the day today. Earlier this morning, we did have some light precipitation that moved across the area. It was just an upper level disturbance that squeezed some of that out. But you can see to our southwest, we're watching out for this next system. That will have a much bigger impact over the weekend. Here on Live Doppler 13 radar, we are running quiet and dry right now, and that's what we expect the rest of the afternoon. Right now, 39 degrees. Winds are light out of the east southeast. We do have a wind chill of 36. And we're going to see these temperatures holding steady in these upper 30s and low 40s throughout the day today. So not much of a warm up with that cloud deck. No sunshine around. It's going to be tough to move the temperature much at all today. But that east southeasterly breeze will help us a little bit. Temperatures climb into the low 40s later this afternoon and then we'll hold near steady in the low 40s throughout the evening hours with overcast skies. For the circle of lights, we are tracking those quiet and dry conditions. So our fingers are crossed that everything should hold off until late tonight, mainly after midnight. And we'll take a look here at future track. We have this large storm system with an associated warm front that will move through on Saturday morning into the afternoon. Then the cold front will push through late Saturday night into early Sunday. And then we'll see many dry hours in this area of low pressure We'll track on through on the back side of it. Much colder air could allow a little bit of a snow and rain mix to move in. So let's look here at future track as we go into the evening hours tonight. Dry and then more widespread showers start to push in after midnight tonight. Pockets of heavy rain will be possible. Even some rumbles of thunder. This will continue through the morning hours. Then I do think it'll become more scattered in nature through the afternoon. So really just a soggy Saturday where a lot of rain will be pushing through. Off to our northwest, you can see that's where the cold front will be late afternoon on Saturday. So we will see temperatures tomorrow climbing into the upper 40s to near 50 degrees by the end of the day. So it is going to be a pretty wild day with scattered showers, thunderstorms, especially during the afternoon. By 7 p.m., the air temperature will be around 47 degrees. By midnight, we'll get to around 50 degrees. If you're going to the old oaken bucket game, you're going to have to have the rain gear. It is going to be a wet game. IU Purdue, the great rivalry. Temperatures will be in those low 40s during the middle of the game with those stormy conditions around. By Saturday night, this will start to taper off. It'll move on out. Then we'll see some drier air starting to push in. However, on the back side of the system, we'll start to see some precipitation returning. And that will be about mid-afternoon. So many dry hours, but notice we could see a wintry mix of rain and snow. High of 43 degrees for today. We drop to 38 tomorrow morning. Temperatures warm all day on Saturday with that high of 55 by late day. Showers and thunderstorms, many dry hours on Sunday with snow showers possible on Sunday afternoon into early Monday. Alyssa?